Let's fire up the jotisserie and make a prime rib. Today I got an epic prime rib that we're gonna stick on the jotisserie. Uh, we got some really good seasoning from our friends at Spiceology, and we're gonna get this going uh, low and slow using the jotisserie, and uh, it's gonna be an epic holiday meal that you can bust out every single year. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, hit that like button, and comment with what you're gonna be cooking this holiday season. Look how awesome that is. Got, like I said, three bones, got the fat cap. We're gonna take off a little bit, but you can see that marbling. That is gonna do some incredible stuff once it gets over that fire. Uh, so to start, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a little binder. You can do anything, olive oil, some people do mustard. I don't really like the idea of mustard with beef, but what I did actually is I came out here and I mixed up um, just a little combination of some mayonnaise. I know people are gonna freak out when they hear about mayonnaise, but it's got mayonnaise, some horseradish, as well as a little bit of uh, Worcestershire sauce. And what's gonna do, it's gonna let the seasoning stick, but it's also gonna help get a nice bark, which is what we always want with a prime rib, especially one on the rotisserie. So to start i'm going to go ahead and uh, get this fat cap off which is actually already coming off on its own uh get the slathered up and get the seasoning on yeah so like i said this fat cap's already coming up so it's kind of weird i'm just gonna like pull it and see how much i can get off like that and just take our knife just take a little bit off just trim a little bit more here Maybe just a little bit more here. Yeah, just get rid of that hard fat. Sweet, let's get this all rubbed up. Great, so first thing I'm gonna do is actually get it on the jotisserie and then we're gonna get seasoned up here. So pretty straightforward. We're gonna go straight through the middle. All right, let's get it in. Careful, don't, don't stab yourself. There we go. One side on, gonna come in on the flank. There we go. Well, that's uneven, that's stupid. There. Good. This way, tighten it. And there we go. We're all set, let's get this thing all coated up. Awesome, so like I said, gonna hit this with a little bit of this uh, mayo, horseradish, Worcestershire seasoning, rub, whatever you wanna call it, binder. Flip it over, same story. And it's just gonna help it stick. Horseradish is awesome, great flavor, especially for prime rib. It'll impart a little bit on there, but it's mainly just to make sure that all this rub is gonna get on there and help form a nice crust. Let's talk about our seasoning today. I got this baby little seasoning packet of, uh, of prime rib rub from Spiceology. Huge fan of all the things that Spiceology makes, but I got a little sample pack, and it's got garlic, salt, spices, onion, sugar, tomato powder, smoked paprika, uh, red bell pepper, a couple other things. It smells really good, it smells really deep and rich. I think it's gonna go good with this beef. I don't know if I have enough here for this whole thing, so if I do need it, I got some salt, pepper, garlic here, just a pretty uh, easy blend that I've thrown together. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, get our baby canister open and uh, get this thing seasoned up. So I'm going to focus primarily on the meat portion, not the bones. If we have extra, we can hit it there. So that looks good. Good. This might actually be the perfect amount. Don't forget the sides. A little more action here on the top. Sweet. This thing's ready. Let's get it on the Joe Tessery. All right, we're all set. Um, I'm aiming for around 350. I'm right at like 360, but it's going to come down a little bit once this goes on. But let's go ahead and uh, let's bring the camera in. You can actually take a look and see what I'm doing here. You know, obviously with the Joe Tessery, we're going to put it on this little unit here. But what I do have is I have the kick ash basket and I have it uh, divided to where you have the charcoal only on one side. Uh, you would not want a full fire underneath this. It's just gonna get cooked too quickly. Um, so use that. I, I'm a big fan of the kick ash basket. Got a link in the description if you're interested. All right, let's get this thing fired up. And we have ignition. And this thing's gonna rotate. I'm thinking maybe you know, we'll check back in an hour. Maybe a little more, a little less. Maybe two hours. 
That's beautiful. Stick around, we'll be back uh, around the hour mark. Okay, we're at the one hour mark. The temperature dropped to around 325 after I put the uh, the prime rib on, but I'm actually okay with that because it's so big. I don't want to scorch the outside uh, and have it be undercooked on the inside. So I think 325, 350 is a good range. So like I said, it's been 325 for about an hour. Let's go ahead, open this up, take a temp test and just see how we're doing. And when the smoke clears, you can see this majestic beauty with that nice crust, you can see, man, look at that coarse rub that we use. That prime rib rub from Spiceology. Doing business on this thing. Starting to fall apart there, you see that? Kind of separating there. Nice caramelization, those bones are coming together. Let's turn this off. And let's get a check right here, kind of in the center. Cool, 75, makes sense. Yeah, we'll come down here a little bit lower, 119, all, yeah, this is right where I expect it to be. We still got a ways to go. I'm thinking maybe another hour or so. You can see the, uh, as more air is coming in, coals are firing up. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this shut down so we don't scorch too much. But we're gonna check back in maybe 30 minutes or so. All right, been two hours now at, uh, what do I say, 325 degrees. We're gonna open this up, take a temp test, and uh, then we're gonna let it rest. But for right now, come on in here, take a look, and let's see what we did. Oh my heavens. Look at that beauty. Just rotating away, got a perfect crust, beautiful bark. That Spiceology seasoning, amazing. That, uh, that mayonnaise, horseradish, Worcestershire really helping build that crust out you can see the bones pulling apart a little bit there that's always a good sign so right now what i'm thinking i'm going to do is we're going to take a temp test but we're going to do it right in the dead center this is such a huge piece of meat obviously the end pieces are going to be more done than um than this, uh, the meat in the center and so i'm aiming for around the uh, the medium rear mark nice 133 132 right there in the dead center. I'm happy with this. I'm gonna pull this off and it's gonna come up a couple degrees, but uh, for right now, we're gonna get this off and uh, we'll take it inside and let it rest for a little bit. How amazing does this look? We've been cooking this for two hours at 325 degrees. It's been resting now for about, uh, I think about 45 minutes or so. Uh, if you want to go longer, you totally could, but uh, I'm really excited. This is gonna be a great meal for us and definitely something that you need to be on the lookout for if you want something just a little bit more alternative uh, than just the traditional turkey around Thanksgiving and the holidays, uh, this is something you cannot go wrong with. That crust is formed really nice. The rotisserie just did amazing work and I'm excited to cut into this and see how we did. Come in here and you follow along the bone. I should have done this first. So that's good. Pull that off. We're gonna come in just like that. Oh my, oh my. That could feed a crowd. Look at that, beautiful fat all throughout, beautiful juices. Ultra juicy, look at that. This is gonna be fantastic. Got that little end piece here. Pull these bones off, you could totally gnaw on those afterwards. Let's cut into it and see how we did. It's so much. There's, I don't know where to begin. Beautiful. That's it. I'm done chewing. Nothing beats prime rib. By the way, I apologize for the plane, a sprinkler system, children, um, and whatever noisy thing is about to happen right now. Oh, but this makes it all the better. Mm. New tradition right here. Oh. Folks, had a blast with this one. You know I love the Joe Tisserie. I got a link in the description if you're interested. 
definitely take a look at that. Turkey, prime rib, chicken, chicken wings. He's that uh, Napoleon basket, makes the best wings ever. Definitely give it a look, because uh, it's probably my favorite accessory for the Kamado Joe. But, uh, you know, definitely got to give this a major, major thumbs up. The Spiceology rub definitely complements that prime rib. Give them a look, uh, link in the description as well. But uh, as always, it's been a blast cooking. Thanks so much. Enjoy the holidays uh, as we move into them. And, uh, you know, as always, stick around until next week. It's been Kamado Max.